Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your scent of the day or scent of the night? Drop your comment down below. Today we're doing a fragrance haul video. So this is my May fragrance haul video that I'm putting out right now. I would like to give a thank you to all my subscribers for watching my content. When you guys watch these videos, it actually helps me get money on YouTube to buy more fragrances to review on the channel, first impressions, haul videos. So thank you to all of you guys and ladies out there. And if you are new here and you like the content, and by the end of the video, please share your support by clicking the red subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel a lot. I'd like to give a big thank you to my family, my brothers, Ray, Maddie, my mom, um, for contributing to give me money for my birthday. And for uh, Karen and Jackie, Rob, Glenn, Val, Harrison, and Presley, and Easton. Thank you guys for the birthday money as well. These are the three fragrances that I bought after my birthday, but technically this is my May haul list. What fragrances you buy this month of May, drop your list down below. So before I start the video, these three fragrances that I purchased, I got them all on sale when they had a discount code or promotion running. So I will leave links down below where I bought these fragrances if you guys would like to buy these if the sales are still running. Number three fragrance I purchased from the House of Berlant. It's one of their newest releases. You guys saw I did a first impression with Kelly. We both like the same fragrance. It's from the House of Berlant. This is Heavy Rouge Parfum. This is the box presentation. So I got this one here, it's a 100 ml bottle or 3.4 fluid ounces. I got it on fragranceflex.com. It was going for $135 with a discount code Aromatic. So I'll leave the link down below, but it retails for about 100 and I think 40 bucks. So I saved like five bucks, which is still because this goes for $175 on the Guerlain website. So, hey, if you can save money, save money, right? So here we go. Opens up like this. Beautiful box presentation, nice little texture. Parfum concentration. Here we go. 3.3 fluid ounces, so it is 100 ml regardless. Inside has a nice Guerlain symbol on there, which is nice. And just a beautiful bottle. It comes in a beautiful, elegant bottle. So I don't own any of the Guerlain um, Loam Collection fragrance. It's my first one I bought. But I do have a couple decans, and I did buy a girl on uh, Cherry Oud that's in their private blend. Let's check this one out. So you guys saw I did a first impression a couple weeks ago with Kelly, but see if it still smells the same. Nice cap, snaps into place, so you can pick it up by the cap. And it has the girl on symbol up top, and it has the girl on symbol on top of the atomizer. Yep, it opens up. You're definitely getting a nice bit of citrus bergamot in the opening. Now, I want to post notes on the screen here. Now, the nice bit of freshness in it. You're definitely getting some patchouli. You're getting a slight bit of bouginess from the rum. You're getting some musk as well. This one's awesome. This is one I feel like you could wear it on a summer night. I found about summer morning because it might be too hot. I feel like early spring, fall, winter time. Because it's great for the fall and winter time with the rum, um, the muskiness, the patchouli, the vanilla. And you gotta like this phrase with the note of vanilla. The vanilla is very um, sweet and there's definitely a powdery touch to it as well. I think it's coming from the vanilla. And this is a beautiful scent, guys. The guy or girl could wear it. Definitely could be a unisex fragrance. I don't know if it leans masculine, maybe somewhat with the patchouli, but it's definitely a sweet fragrance. And this is a beautiful one by the house of Galan. And this one is beast mode on me. This one has very heavy projection coming from my little sample I got from the Galan boutique. Dude, this one here lasts over eight hours on my skin. I have no complaints with performance. The projection shoots a, a lot. It's like the first, I would say, it'd be two hours or three hours. It pushes out a lot. I will do a full review on this very soon. I'll have Kelly in the video as well. But this is fire, guys. Definitely check out Guerlain. And this is Heavy Rouge Parfum. Number two fragrance that I purchased from the house of Prada. This is Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Love Parfum. So I did a first impression with this, you guys. So I went to... um. Nordstrom they had available, so I sprayed it on my skin. I did about four or five sprays, and I went home. Kelly liked the way it smells, it was kind of light. Then I went back a couple of days later to try it out again out Macy's, and boy, this is great fragrance, guys. So I got this on sale uh, for about, under about 100 bucks because I had a 20% off reward at Nordstrom, which when I buy fragrances, I get points. And then they had 15% off, so the guy would honor both of them. And he knows I buy a lot of fragrances there, so I got it for like under 100 bucks. You know, maybe 95, 97, yeah, tax, like a hundred bucks instead of 175. It's 
beautiful bottle presentation. This is 100 mil or 3.4 fluid ounces. This is the Love Parfum. Uh, I like the red with the dark gray interior. And this is their third fragrance. This is their flanker of the Luna Rosa lineup, Ocean lineup. So. This, these bottles are refillable as well, which they have it here on the side if you want to refill your bottle. So when you empty it out, you can get it refilled. Beautiful bottle. Really elegant. I like the red, and it's like a light, dark bluish. I love this. I feel like it's more red and black, but to each its own, it's beautiful presentation. This cap is cool. It just holds up there if you can't spray it for traveling, I guess, purposes or just in general. I usually just take it off. And the note breakdown, which I post on the screen here real quick. Okay, so this fragrance here, good atomizer as well. This opens up, you're definitely getting a little bit of this lemon freshness in the opening. And that lasts for a good, maybe 15 minutes or so, maybe 20 minutes. And then eventually you get this saffron. And you get some leathery touches as well, some spices. You do kind of get a spice bomb infrared vibe on this. If you like Spice Bomb Infrared, you're going to like it's not the same fragrance, but if you like that fragrance, you're going to put two and two together and you're going to get that vibe. And you're, it's not the same fragrance, but if you like that one, you're definitely going to like this one here. I feel like this does have a little bit of this leatheriness in it. And it's beautiful, guys. Can't go wrong nothing like this. Now, this might be redundant if you own Spice Bomb Infrared. You know, it may not be um, something you want to have both fragrances of, but it's definitely a good fragrance, definitely for your spring, fall, winter time. Summer, I'm not sure if I want to wear this in the summertime, maybe summer evenings or nights because the saffron is pretty dominant, definitely getting a leathery feel to it. There's some smokiness to it. Definitely is um, some sweetness and bouginess in the dry down with this oak wood. And there's some amber extreme as well, so give us a amber woodiness in the fragrance. So some people might think this is redundant if you have the Spice Bomb Infrared EDT or the EDP, but by all means, get samples of all of them and try them out for yourself. This one here is great, guys. I've worn this a few times from the sample that I obtained at Nordstrom and I kept wearing it. I said, dude, I gotta get a bottle, but I got it on sale. I wasn't gonna pay 175 for this. Now, if it was my birthday or something like that and somebody bought it for me, that's great, but this is not worth it 175. Now, they do have a 50 mil bottle, which you can get for a little bit cheaper. Uh, Macy's is running a 15% off sale. So hopefully by the time I post the video, you'll be able to get it on sale because the sale is over later today, May 5th. But dude, this is fire, guys. If you like spicy, leathery, a little bit of freshness in the opening, and you like a little bit of this boozy touch in the dry down and woodiness, definitely check out Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Love Parfum. Okay, guys, you're getting down to the wire. My number one fragrance that I bought as of my May haul video here. This one is a little more expensive, but I actually got a good deal on it on Bird Off Goodman. Shout out to my boy E, or simply put, Sense. He's ambassador at um, Bird Off Goodman. I bought a fragrance that's been getting a lot of hype since last year. I obtained a sample from him, so thank you. It is Blue Taos by Extra Hilo. This fragrance here is fire, guys. You have to spray this on your skin. It's hard to describe this fragrance. Uh, shout out to my friend, Louisiana Fragrance. He was telling me about it. It's an amazing fragrance. It's a fresh fragrance, right? It's a blue fragrance. It can be other type of fragrances if you think about it, like how they smell, but it's not one fragrance by itself. There's a beautiful presentation of the box. Nice texture here. Blue Towels by Exilo. I just recently discovered the brand. I know nothing about the brand. Beautiful emblem up top for their brand. And it's down here low. This is a 50 ml bottle. I got mine on sale on Bird Off Goodman for about $208. And I did have a 40 or $50 um, gift card to PayPal. So I got it for about 172 with tax. So a steal opens up like this. So it switches up like this. And some information inside. Here's your bottle here, Blue Talisman. Beautiful bottle presentation, elegant. And we have a little card inside here. Just tells you about their brand. Tells you thank you for purchasing it. Sent the fragrance, stuff like that, which is pretty cool if you guys care about that. But it's nice presentation. This is a beautiful bottle as well. Sorry for the glare. And yeah, 50 mil bottle. They do have a 100 mil bottle as well. If you want to buy it, I'll leave a link down below to Bird Off Goodman. Cap is very heavy, not plastic. Inside, there's no symbol or nothing like that. Just plain a spray here. Nice sprayer. 
Okay, I'll post notes on the screen for you guys so you guys can see the note breakdown. So this opens up, you're definitely getting some bergamot fresh in the opening. There's definitely some mandarin orange. And there's some ginger as well. Now there's some orange blossom, there's some broccoli, and there's some musk. There's definitely a freshness, airiness about this. This is a great fresh fragrance. Now there's a lot of fresh fragrance on the market. This one here is on a different level. Now, the only con I see with this fragrance here, and which I talk about my full review down the road, the projection isn't loud. It's one that's like a scent bubble around you, but people will catch wilds of you when you're wearing this fragrance here. And I will say now, I got a sample first, right? I tried it out at work, first day of work, right? Okay. And the guy I work with, his name is Mike. Never give me a comment on my fragrances. I wear fragrances almost two years at this job, right? Well, been around him for. And that was one fragrance that I wore. I did six sprays in the sample. And he was like, Chris, whatever you have on me, it smells amazing. He was like, I could smell you from the time you came in to the time you went to the bathroom to the time you... We started work. He's like, that fragrance smells amazing. What is it? He had never caught me. I mean, I've worn over a dozen amazing fragrances. Creed Aventus, Dior Sauvage, Blue Day Chanel. This fragrance here is a phenomenal fragrance. If you want to get comments, this is it right here. It is pricey. You definitely need to sample it. Some people might think it smells amazing. Some people might think it might smell garbage or horrible. I get it. It can be a skin chemistry as well. Um, so definitely spread it on your skin and see if you like it. But guys, this is an amazing scent. This is a fragrance that I will say here now that if if it wasn't for Creed Viking, this is probably my wedding day scent. It's hard because this fragrance here is phenomenal, guys. When you put this on your skin, it feels like you didn't even spray it. You're like, did I spray enough? It's so smooth. I feel like so smooth, so watery. Like you put it on your skin, but you didn't know you have it on there. And then you start walking around catching wild stuff. Like, oh man, I smell so amazing. It's in a fantastic fragrance, guys. But I know people that are more beast mode. This is a beast mode scent. It isn't, but you're going to smell it around you and you're going to love the way you smell. This could be a great signature scent for any gentleman out there that wants to smell amazing, that wants to get comments. This will get it done. And I've only worn it one time for an example. And the first time I worn it, guaranteed compliment. I wasn't even looking for compliments. The person said, I smelled really good. And he said, man, I would like to buy a fragrance like that because I don't have anything that in my collection. This is a phenomenal blue fragrance, guys. You guys should definitely check it out. Get samples. I highly recommend sampling this fragrance here. Could you blind buy it? You could, but you may not like it as much as me. And I know a lot of people are in the beast mode sense. They don't want those close to the skin fragrances, but this is a phenomenal fragrance, guys. Definitely check out Blue Talisman by the House of Exo Hilo. Okay, guys, so the video is about to be over. What fragrance want me to review first on the channel? Next Friday, I'll have a full review. Do you want me to talk about Exo Hilo Blue Talisman? Do you want me to talk about Prada Luna Rosa Love Parfum? Or do you want me to talk about the new Guerlain Heavy Rouge Parfum? Leave your comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of content, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giving us well. And make sure you like the video. Be safe, everyone. I hope I see you in my next upload. Peace.